as you correctly said, the situation for this winter is certainly uh, in a let's say, in a much stable situation because uh, more uh, than 90 percent of the total storage capacity around Europe has been filled. And so now, let's say, we can face the winter, of course, knowing that we can rely on this abundant quantity of natural gas already inside Europe. The difficulty will be for the next summer to replace the gas that will be utilized during the winter. And of course, uh, this will be replaced mostly through additional quantities of LNG. Therefore, uh, the race uh, around Europe uh, to increase the, the number of regasification units to be able to accommodate the volumes of LNG. In Greece, we are, uh, let's say, not lucky in the sense that uh, we benefit from uh, the decision which has been taken years and years ago to have this large mm -hmm. terminal in comparison to the market, but we also have additional investment. There is the FSRU in Alexandropolis, which will be ready by, which we are also a, a co-investor and will be ready by the end of the next year. And there are other projects, some in quite an advanced phase. And so we will also contribute, uh, if not necessary for Greece, but certainly to accommodate more volumes for uh, the countries in the central, uh, southeast Europe, the central part of the Balkans. For sure, le next summer we will have, a st we will still see a lot of issues about energy prices uh, because there will be more competition mm -hmm. for LNG. Well, on that note, yesterday the European Commission came out with a proposal for a mechanism to cap the price of natural gas that European countries could pay. Um, it is very controversial. Many, including the Greek energy minister, have argued that the price cap itself is a good idea, but that the level that's been proposed is too high. Do you have a view on what's been proposed? And if we do see a price cap come into effect, how might that affect European natural gas flows in the year ahead? Well, let's say, as a, a transmission system operator, let's say we are certainly less involved in the debate about the price caps. Uh, so, because we, our role uh, is purely to, uh, to, uh, let's say, to manage the infrastructures. Of course, uh, I follow the debate uh, and I tend to agree that the level of price which has been set is very high. And uh, so, if we look retroactively and uh, having experienced what we experienced in the last few months, this would have never been triggered. So, of course, this is a very weak signal if we really want to uh, indicate uh, that uh, there is a level, a maximum level of price at which we are willing to buy uh, gas. Is not an easy exercise. I mean, uh, building the LNG, the, building the uh, liquid market in Europe took more than 20 years. So changing it, even in a few months, even with a lot of debate, may be quite dangerous. So I understand that, let's say, uh, it's, it's not an easy equation. Very 